Amen. Praise God. He is here. Amen. His presence is not unrecognized in this place. Amen. We just love the presence of the Lord. And we know that God keep his promise. The two or three that are gathered in his name, he is in the midst of them. Are we gathered in his name this morning? Amen. So he must be in our midst today. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Turn your Bible in Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 3, just to give you a little background before we read our text, is the first miracle recorded in the book of Acts that a lame person was a lame person from the mother's womb was miraculously healed and it causes a stir and uh, it brought persecution to the apostles uh, kaya they were here Peter and John were arrested and they were brought to the Jewish council, the Sanhedrin. And uh, they were commanded not to speak or preach in the name of Jesus anymore. Pero sabi nila, we better obey God than men. So they have to... Uh, they couldn't stop the apostle because they know that it is right in the sight of God to do His will than to do the will of men. So, uh, Peter and John were released. And let's start our reading from verse 21. Acts 4, verse 21. And when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. For all men glorified God for that which was done. The people glorified the Lord because of the miracle. For the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was showed. This man that was lame uh, was above 40 years old. So he was in that condition for more than 40 years. Why? Because he was born lame. For the man was above 40 years old on whom this miracle of healing was showed. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. Because Peter and John were threatened. And they reported to their fellow believers what happened. Verse 24. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord. And said, Lord, thou art God. Thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that, and all that in them is, who by the mouth of thy servant David had said, Why did the heathen rage and people imagine vain things? And the kings of the earth stood up, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. For of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determine before to be done. 
Now this is, I'm reading their prayer. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak thy word, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child, Jesus. By thy Holy Child, Jesus. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Showing us the unity. They were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any man of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. But they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Amen. Praise God. Tayo manalangin sa Panginoon. The Lord Jesus, how great thou art, how wonderful you are, how awesome is your name. There is no name above the name of Jesus because Jesus is the name above all names. There is no name whereby man could be saved but only in the name of Jesus. And we honor you, Lord, today as we come in this place. Lord, knowing, Lord, that thou art faithful to your promise and that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. I pray, Lord, for your divine blessing as I speak your word to your people. Anoint my heart, Father, and let, your, and let the heart of your people be the good ground that would receive your word, that it would bring forth the manifestation of your word in their own life and experiences. We thank you, Lord. We commit the rest of the service into your hands in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shall we give the Lord a hand cup of praise? Amen. You may have your seats. God bless you. Yesterday, yesterday afternoon, I was thinking what to share uh, today, and uh, and I think that uh, uh, some of you would like to give their testimonies, and uh, so I decided yesterday I would just give a little uh, message this morning. Then afterwards, kung uh, sinong gustong magbigay ng patutuo uh, in relation sa ating uh, healing service uh, last Friday, I, uh, we will give you time after this message. And huwag uh, uh, lang natin habaan yung testimony. <laughs> Let's make it direct. So we, will, we could also give... Uh, time to others na gusto, gusto rin mag-testify. And so maybe maximum of three minutes sa isang tao. So we could accommodate more people to uh, who wants to testify. So we'll do that a little later. You know, uh, I believe that the Lord is uh, directing us in the right direction sa mga messages na ating uh, may pangaral sa iglesyang ito. And, uh, and I believe that the Lord uh, will do greater and greater and greater things sa iglesia. Do you believe that? 
I am under expectation on that. So I know uh, many were prayed over uh, last Friday. And uh, <laughs> seeing the people, uh, the number of people that were prayed over, I, I, I saw the need of uh, a healing service. You know? Maybe we could do it every three months. Amen. We could do it every three months para uh, we could also cater to the needs of the people. Uh, and uh, alam nyo, uh, this first miracle that happened here in the, the book of Acts was about a lame man. He was born lame or lame at birth. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he was miraculous, miraculously healed by God okay, when he was above 40 years old. Now, that is one thing that you have to, uh, to know, I know. Because when we talk about healing, not all healing is instant. Okay, I've taught you that, brothers and sisters. But when it is a miraculous healing, it's an instant. Okay? So if, if, if it was not an instant, you still have to hold on, on what you believe. Because the prophet said, okay, your body will follow your confession. You have to understand that. Even the testimony na binigay ni Brother Jack is Ben, about that deaf and dumb spirit or uh, person na nagkakaroon pa ng seizure, lumalabas yung laway sa kanyang bibig. After the person was prayed over, it took one month. Okay, so uh, I'm showing you that because, you know, sometimes because of ignorance, okay, the, the, the devil would try to shake away your faith. But if you know the principles you've been taught here in this church, I, I, I believe I, I taught you well on that. Okay, so we don't let the devil <laughs> shake us when we hold on the word of God. We believe in our heart, we confess it with our lips, and God will bring it to pass. And so... That is the difference between a miraculous healing and healing. Because uh, healing, but miraculous healing that is an instant, like what happened here in Acts 3. Kaya nga sabi ng prophet, sometimes after you get prayed over, sometimes you feel that your body uh, got worse. Diba? Like for example, for a tumor, na malaki ng tumor, uh, kaya lumalaki yun because there's a spirit inside the tumor na kumakalat. And it's eating up your body, lumalaki siya, nag-grow siya. At sabi ng prophet, after that has been prayed over, and the spirit came out of the tumor, usually magsiswell lalo yun. But the spirit has already left the tumor, the lump. Parang isang aso, kapag namatay yung aso, lumabas yung spirit, magsuswell. Diba? Medyo lulobo. Then afterwards, it will start to shrink. Diba? And the same thing with divine healing. Sometimes meron kang bukol and there's a spirit inside of it. But when the spirit is okay, uh, is cast out, okay, nandyan pa yung bukol, okay, maraila, after the napag-pray, bigla mas lalong uh, lumobo, uh, pero pag wala na spirit, dahan-dahan na yan magsishrink. You see that? We are, uh, the prophet taught us all those things. They say, because of lack of knowledge, sometimes, the devil will make you doubt. Nasabi niya, para wala namang nangyari. And uh, uh, we understand those things, you know. So we have to keep on holding on the promises of God because I believe that 
With God, there is nothing impossible. Nothing is impossible to them that believe. Okay, and uh, you would only have a prayer of faith if you believe that it's the will of God to heal you. And uh, so I believe that is God's will. Pagkat sabi ng prophet, okay, how could you have faith for body change if you don't have faith for divine healing? Because divine healing is the earnest of the resurrection. Once that body is changed, you will no longer experience God being Jehovah Rapha. Pagkat when that body is changed, it's already immortal body. A body that doesn't get sick. A body that doesn't get old. So this is the time you have to experience Jehovah Rapha. Amen. While that body is not yet changed, it can get sick. Amen. Pwede pa yan ma, ma, mag, mag, magkasakit, mga kapatid. At kung pwede pa yan magkasakit, this is the time that you could experience that God is Jehovah Rapha. He is still the God that heals because once that body is changed, mga kapatid, wala na yung karamdaman. Amen. Kaya kung gusto mo ma-experience, amen, ang pagiging Jehovah Rapha ng Panginoon before the body change because healing, amen, divine healing is the earnest of the resurrection. At sabi ng prophet, how could you have faith for the body change if you don't have faith for divine healing? I'm just explaining that to you, you know. Uh, those uh, are putting you into remembrance concerning those things. Okay? And, uh, and showing you the difference between healing and miracle. Kaya nga sa gifts, sa nine gifts of the Spirit, magkaiba yan, mayroong gifts of healing and working of miracles. They are two different things. Diba? Just like me, uh, when I was diagnosed many years ago of a multiple gallstone, okay, pinag-pray ko sa Panginoon, okay, may mga nanalangin din para sa akin, then uh, it seems na walang improve because I, see, uh, uh, I still saw the symptoms. Diba? Sabi ng doktor sa akin, ipaopera mo na, patanggal mo na yan because that is causing your hyperacidity and bloating. Okay, so hinaya ako na lang, but uh, the symptoms were still there. And uh, two times na ako na nagpa ultrasound uh, sa mga nakaraang taon, at wala silang nakitang gallstones. The Lord remove it. Okay, so I'm showing you. Okay, that's the principle of divine healing. Okay, and sometimes. Okay, things doesn't happen instantaneously because the Lord has to uh, test our faith, but we've got to fight a good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Amen. I was thinking of a scripture to use uh, this morning, and the Lord gave me this scripture last night. Uh, or yesterday. And when I woke up in the morning, I nagbasa ko ng ilang quotes, and the Lord gave me the quotes, and I'll be reading it uh, a little while. So I'd like to speak on the subject, United, the United and Praying Church. The United and Praying Church. There's something about unity. When people are united, expect great things to happen. And there's something about praying church. If the church is full of prayer, expect great things to happen. Amen. So I'd like to speak on that. The united and praying church. Nagka, nang, uh, nagkausap kami ni uh, Pastor Jacques. Uh, I was also asking about their church. 
uh, how's this, uh, what's the schedule of your services in your church? They have uh, three services in a day, uh, in a week. So ours, we have Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Sabi ko sa kanya, so you also have like a prayer and fasting? Yes, we do have, sabi niya. Uh, so how long do you do that? Sabi niya. When we usually have prayer fasting, we do it uh, 7 to 10 days. And uh, when I am out, sabi niya, uh, doing a mission work, there are people praying and fasting for me. Uh, so, uh, because they see the importance of prayer and fasting. But they usually, if they do it 7 to 10 days, uh, parang ginagawa nilang Ramadan. So, they will uh, eat uh, only evening. So, morning, then uh, af, uh, lunchtime, they will skip it, then they will have dinner, then uh, they will do that for a period of 7 to 10 days. And whenever they would have a healing service in their church, uh, they would also do that before. And uh, uh, showing us that prayer is the most powerful weapon that the Lord has placed in our hands. But I'm not talking here about individual prayer. I am talking here about praying as a church. People in harmony, in one accord, and praying together. And uh, so this is my subject now. Because I believe that a spirit-filled and praying church produces an atmosphere in which it is easy for God to work. I repeat, a spirit-filled and praying church produces an atmosphere in which it is easy for God to work. Kapag ang isang iglesia ay punong-puno ng Espiritu Santo, amen, at punong-puno ng pananalangin, ito ay nagkikreate ng atmosphere. Actually, the atmosphere is the presence of God Himself. It creates an atmosphere okay, that is easy for God to move, to work. And if you want to know how the Holy Spirit acts now, we've got to read how He acted when He had full possession of the church. Diba? Kung gusto nyo maunawan ang pagkilos ng Holy Spirit ngayon, diba? bumalik kayo doon kung paano siya unang gumawa. Okay. How the Holy Spirit acted when He was in full possession of the church. Because if we could create the same condition, we would have the same results. You know why? Because He is the unchanging God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. After the service, our visitor was telling me, Sabi niya, there's something different in your church. Sabi niya, I feel na magaan ba, kung baga, madaling makakilos yung spirit. You know the reason? Because of the people praying in this church. <laughs> Sacrificing, even fasting, mga kapatid. Amen. Why? Because, amen, prayer and fasting creates the atmosphere. Amen. That welcomes the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Kaya hindi mo na kinakailangan ipam para kumilos ang Spirit. Hallelujah. The Spirit could freely move because the vessels are ready. The vessels are prepared. And the hearts of the people are wide open to receive the Word of God. Hallelujah. Now, dito sa Acts chapter 3, we see the first miracle. Could you imagine a lame that was lame at birth for more than 40 years? Binubuhat siya doon sa gate beautiful para mamalimos bagkat maaari na hindi siya makapagtrabaho because of his condition. 
So that's the only way that he could have a source of income ay sa pamamalimos. Pero one day, ang sabi doon, si Peter and John ay papunta sa temple. What was the purpose of them coming to temple? To pray. Because it was an hour of prayer. They have an hour of prayer where they go to the temple and pray. At nang sila'y papasok, nandoon sa gate beautiful, amen, nandoon mga kapatid, yung, uh, yung namamalimos, tumingin sina, yung mga, uh, si Peter, si John, sa kanya, at akala niya pa nga, bibigyan siya. Hindi ko alam nang nangyari, siguro sa panahon na yun, ay walang dalang pera si Peter. Okay. Pagkat sabi niya, silver and gold have I none. Because their money before, it's in the form of silver and gold. Sabi niya, silver and gold have I not, but such as I have. What does Peter have? He has the Holy Ghost. He has Jesus. But such as I have, I give it unto you. Because Peter believes, mga kapatid, in the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. And one of the manifestations of the Holy Ghost is healing and miracles. Amen. Kaya mga kapatid, sabi niya, such as I have, I give it unto you. At kung ano nandoon kay Peter, nandyan din sa atin ngayon. Do you believe that? Whatsoever Peter has, mga kapatid, we just receive the same Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! You don't receive an inferior Holy Ghost. No! The same Holy Ghost that Peter has is the same Holy Ghost that we receive. And if we could create the same atmosphere, the same condition that the apostles, that the believers had in the book of Acts, we would have the same results, the same manifestation of the Holy Ghost. But such as I have, I give it unto thee. In the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And that miracle caused a great stir. Pagkat kasama nila Peter at John na pumasok yung, yung pinalakad ng Panginoon sa temple. Of course, people, they know that person. Why? Pagkat sa tuwing papasok sila through the gate, beautiful, nakikita nila yung tao na mamalimos. But what happened suddenly, naglalakad na yung tao. And people were glorifying God. Amen. People were praising the Lord. And Peter took that opportunity para mangaral. Sabi niya, akala niyo, kami ang nagpalakad sa taong ito. Wala kami kapangyarihan na gawin niyan. But ang nagpalakas sa tao ito is the faith in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hindi lamang nila ginagamit yung pangalan ng Panginoon. Amen. Meron silang pananampalataya sa kapangyarihan ng pangalan. Amen. Because that name is the most powerful name. And if you have faith in that name, even that name can heal you. Even that name can bring miracles. Amen. Because that is the name above all names. Once you use that name and you use that name, na mayroong kampana ng palataya, brothers and sisters, even the devil will tremble when they hear that name. It's not just knowledge about that name, but faith in that name has caused this man to walk. They don't just use the name. Without faith, they have faith in the name of Jesus. Do you have faith in the name of Jesus? Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, the seventh redemptive name of Jehovah is locked up in that name. Amen. Those seven compound names of Jehovah is locked up in that name because all our blessings is in that name. Hallelujah. Amen. Kaya yung pangalan na yun, just siyang Jehovah Jireh, siyang Jehovah Rapa, Jehovah Shama, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Sitkino. All that you ever need is locked up in that name. If you know how to use that name, your every need will be met. 
either it's financial, Jehovah Jireh is locked up in that name. You need guidance, uh, but he is your Jehovah Reha, your great shepherd. Your great shepherd is locked up in that name. He can guide you. You need healing, even Jehovah Rapha is locked up in that name. We've got to have faith in that name. No, because of that, na karoon ng persecution. Why? Because Peter started to preach. Amen. Yung pinatay nyo. Amen. Yung pinersecute nyo. Nirilis nyo si, si Barabbas and so on. Pero tingnan nyo, hindi nyo siya pinili. Pero the Lord has raised him up. They were preaching about the resurrection. Mga kapatid, if there's a certain group in that time, na higit na magagalit, they are the Sadducees. Because the Sadducees don't believe in the resurrection. Do you see that? So, anong ginawa nila kay Peter and John? They were arrested. Dinala sila sa Sanhedrin, a Jewish council. Why? Pagkat pinagbabawalan sila. Nakita nila yung boldness kay Peter at John. Sabi nito, mga taong ito, they are unlearned. Mukhang hindi ito pumasok sa ating seminary. Wala itong unit sa ating Bible school. Amen. Amen. These, these are ignorant men. But they had knowledge. Sabi, sabi, but they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Amen. Pero itong mga ito, Amen, they had been with Jesus. How do we know? Because the same thing na ginagawa ni Jesus, we see them doing. These people had been with Jesus. They couldn't deny that notable miracle that took place. Now, let's read here sa ating binasa kanina. Acts 4. I won't be long. Verse 21. So when they had further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people, for all men glorified God for that which was done. Walang dahilan para hihold nila si John at Peter, kaya pinalaya din nila. For the man who was above 40 years old, on whom this miracle of healing was showed. If the man was more than 40 years old, and he was lame by birth, anong klaseng paa na meron siya? Hindi na built up yung muscles. Hindi gaano, di ba? No enough his strength to stand up. Amen. But God is a miracle working God. He put his strength doon sa ankle, sa kanyang legs, mga kapatid, at siya'y tumayo. Now, verse 23. And being let go, they went to their own company and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them. So anong ginawa nila? Pumunta sila doon sa body of believers. Nireport nila kung anong nangyari. Anong reaction ng mga religious leaders? How they were threatened para hindi na sila mangaral patungkol kay Christ. Now, look at this now. Because I'm talking about united, the united and praying church. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God with one accord. Now, I, I'm not talking here about one person. This is a group of body of believers. And when they heard that, they lifted up their voice to God. Why? Because every time you have trouble, there's one thing you've got to do. You lift your voice up to God. 
if you are in distress, there's only one thing you could do. You lift up your voice to God. And when they heard that they lifted up their voice to God with one accord. Showing you the harmony. Showing you the unity among believers. And said, Lord, thou art God. Which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. They're in a time of distress. They knew kung ano nangyari. Persecution is moving. They were trying to stop the ministers of God to preach the word. And they're doing it by threatenings and by fear. Tinatakot sila. Amen. But they started to pray to God. The church started to pray to God. At sabi nila sa Panginoon, Lord, Thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. What was that? Una sa lahat mga batid, they are looking at the omnipotence God. Omnipotence of God. Amen. Na ang Diyos ay powerful. Amen. Panginoon, ikaw luwikha ng langit. Amen. You created the earth and the sea and all that is therein. What is in heaven? The angels. What is in heaven? Yung billions of stars. Lahat yang nasa langit. Nilikha mo lahat yan. Amen. At yung earth nilikha mo and all that is therein. Yung botany life. Yung animal life. Yung human life. Ikaw ang luwikha ng mga bagay na yan. And the sea and all that is in the sea. All the marine life. Iba't ibang klaseng isda. Iba't ibang variety ng isda. Ikaw ang lumikha ng lahat ng mga bagay na yan. Amen. They are reminding themselves that with God, nothing is impossible. Amen. In the time of distress, you've got to remember how big your God is. In times of trouble, in times you have problem, you've got to remember how big the God is. He is the creator of the universe hallelujah because sometimes when you look at your problem parang napakalaki but when you started to look your, at your God at nakita mo kung gaano kalaki yung Diyos mo masasabi mo maliit lang pala yung problema ko why? because you saw the greatness of God hallelujah if God can create the heavens if God can create the earth and all that is therein even can He not create an organ in your body hallelujah even if God can do that can he not heal you brothers and sisters you have a body if he created the earth at ayang body mo kaparingot lamang na bahagi ng earth yan amen can he not heal that body I believe he can do because my God is great my God is big amen and with him nothing is impossible Hallelujah! Ano man ang kalagayan mo ngayon, think about, amen, how big your God is. Because the more you see, amen, the, how big God is, the smaller your problem become. Amen! Pagkat nakita mo, Panginoon, ang, with all the knowledge ng science ngayon, advanced ng technology, maging medisina, advanced na sa kanilang operation ng inoperansi dati, uh, mayroon lang butas dito na maliit. Ah, dati bubuksan talaga yung brain mo, itong skull mo. Should I say? Magigitong malaking hay. Pero advanced ng technology ngayon. But with all the learnings and advancement in science, amen, they could not even make a one strand of grass. Hallelujah. Amen. Kaya nilang gumawa ng grass pero plastic. Kaya nilang gumawa ng flower, iba't ibang kulay pero plastic. Amen. Amen. Why? Because it takes the creative power of God to make a one strand of grass. It takes a real, the power of God to make a real flower. And it takes the power of God to make a new kidney, a new heart for you. It takes the power of God. Man cannot do that. But our God can do that. Yeah. 
Amen. Look how big your God is. In this time of distress, they started to remember how big their God is. Amen. Because once naalala mo how big God is, you would know what God can do. Amen. What God can do. You don't try to limit God because you know what God can do. Do you realize what God can do? Do you realize how big your God is? So don't let the devil even lie to you that God couldn't do it. Even our God is big. Even with you, nothing is impossible. That Don't let that old devil lie to you because our enemy is a liar. Amen. But I'd like you to take God at his word. Amen. Because heaven and earth will pass away. But his world will never pass away. Amen. They said, Lord, thou art God, which has made heaven and earth and the sea and all that in them is. Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, why did the heathen rage? And the people imagine vain things. Now look at this. This was an inspired prayer. They were quoting from Psalms 2. The Psalm of David. Sabi niya, who by the mouth of thy servant David? Why did the heathen rage? Why pagkat nakita nila... Yung bandanggit sa Psalm 2, amen, nangyayari sa panahon nila. And they're taking that scripture and applying it to their time. At sabi niya, sabi nila, Who by the mouth of thy servant David has said, Why did the heathen rage? The heathen are the Gentiles. And the people imagine vain things. The people, the Jewish people, the Roman soldiers, the Jewish council, the religious leaders, ang sabi nito, people, they imagine vain things. And the kings of the earth, and just like Pilate, the governor of Judea, representing Caesar, the kings of the earth, and the rulers were gathered together. Against the Lord and against His Christ. Now look at this. The rulers. Those Jewish rulers. Because they were saying, they, they were recalling back what happened to Jesus. About that conspiracy. Political at religious nagsama sila to put Jesus to death, to crucifixion. Pero ang sabi sa sama, the people imagine vain things. Pagkat nakita nila ang ministry ni Jesus Christ, amen, they have seen, amen, that ministry will do demonstration of and power of God. Amen, sabi nila, delikado ito kung hindi na tayo gagawa dito. Amen, may hihila niya lang mga, lahat ng mga tao. Yung mga followers natin, pupunta na sa kanya. They were jealous. These religious leaders were not happy to see getting uh, people getting healed. No, they are not happy of that. Even because of jealousy. So they conspired against Jesus. They united. Sabi nito, why do people imagine vain things? Alam ba yung vain things na kanilang ini-imagine? Sabi, we've got to do something. Kinakailangan patayin natin itong tao ito. Because once we kill him, amen, this movement will stop. 
Once we kill him, amen, his doctrine will stop. Once we kill him, this founder na sinusunda nila, once we kill him, mawawala na itong movement na ito. Hallelujah. Amen. Madali na natin, amen, uh, kumbaga, pahintuin. Yung mga disciples niya, wala na silang leader. We can stop him by killing him. Para hindi na mag spread itong doctrine niya. Para hindi na kumalat itong ginagawa niya. Kinakailangan patayin natin siya. Pero sabi sa bahay mo mga kabatid, they are imagining vain things. Hallelujah. Because they don't know the law. Ang sabi ni Jesus Christ, unless the corn of wheat falls into the ground and die, it abides alone. But if it dies, it bringeth forth much fruit. Hallelujah. Subukan yung patayin niya. Great na wet because once boom, boom, amen na ibaon yan sa lupa at namatay it will come forth in multiplied form but they are imagining vain things akala nila they could stop that mover let's kill the leader amen para hindi na kumalat yung doktrina na yan matapos ng problema natin because it's 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 making a great shake sa ating religious realm nawawalan tayo ng mga followers na mabawasan ang members natin sumasama sa kanila amen let's kill him amen sinubukan nilang patayin si Kristo pero mga kabatid he is a mighty conqueror He conquered death, hell, and the grave. Hallelujah! Pagkat sabi ng Diyos, I will not suffer my holy one to see corruption. At sabi ng prophet, corruption sets in within 72 days. Or 72 hours, 3 days. Kaya God has to resurrect Jesus on the third day. Amen! And He rose again. Hallelujah! He rose again. Unless a corn of wheat dies, if all you the ground dies, it abides alone. But if it dies, it bringeth forth much fruit. Amen. Dati rati ang problema nila si Jesus. Amen. Ang punti nila si Jesus. Pero nang namatay si Jesus, nag-resurrect siya. At nang nag-ascend siya, ibinaban niya ang Holy Ghost. He multiplied himself in the body of believers. Amen. Yung one grain ay dumami mga kabatid. Amen. Aburido sila. Dati si Jesus lang. Amen. Ang problema nila ngayon in a many-membered body. Jesus in multiplied form. Jesus in bright form. They imagine vain things. Don't imagine vain things. Amen. They thought they could stop it. No way could they stop it. Because Jesus is the resurrection and life. That could not hold him. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Death could not hold him. Sinubukan niya, pero kinakailangan niyang pawalan. Amen. Because Jesus has conquered death, hell, and the grave. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. Mama, this spirit of death is coming to your body in a form of your sickness. But I tell you, Jesus has already conquered death. Amen. Sabi ni Barbara, I see a black shadow over you. It's death. But brothers and sisters, Jesus has conquered death. The kings of the earth stood up and rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against His Christ. Conspiracy. How the political and religious People are uniting to put Jesus to death. That is what happened. They were recalling it back. For of a, tr for of a truth against thy holy child Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod, the mga rulers, mga leaders, and Pontius Pilate, and the Gentiles, the heathen, and the people of Israel, These people are thinking vain things. Imagining vain things. We're gathered together. They united to come against Christ. 
to come against Jesus. The Jesus. For to do whatsoever thy hand and thy counsel determine before to be done. Para gawin sa kanya yung bagay that thy counsel determine before to be done. Ibig sabihin, nakita na lahat ng Panginoon. Amen. Nandoon na before the foundation of the world, the Lamb was already slain in His mind. And if God permitted them to do such thing to Jesus, because God has a purpose. Amen. Because without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. Amen. Now, look at this now. I'm reading to you the prayer. And now, Lord, behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak the word. Amen. Look at their prayer. Diba? Kung ikay nangangaral in public places at walang threatenings, diba na nangyari? Hindi ka natatakot. Pero kapag may threatenings na, kumisan yung, 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 yung mga ngaral, magdadalawang isip. Tutuloy ko ba? Hindi. So they are praying because meron ng threatenings, meron ng pananakot. So behold their threatenings and grant unto thy servants with, that with all boldness they may speak thy word. Hindi sila nanalangin. Pag tanggalin mo na yung mga threatenings. Hindi. Nanalangin sila of the spirit of boldness. Na kahit merong threatenings, hindi magiging hadlang para may pangaral ang salita ng Panginoon. Na hindi sila matatakot. Amen. Amen. Pana, manakot man ang mga mga high-ranking officials sa religious realm, ipapangaral pa nila with boldness kung anong dapat ipangaral. Amen. They will still preach about the resurrection power of Christ. They will still preach about the name of Jesus Christ. At ano pang prayer nila? By stretching forth thine hand to heal. Now, these people are praying for the demonstration of the power of God. They were united. Sabi niya, by stretching forth thy, thine power to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child, Jesus. Now, that's, that's uh, this is what I'm trying to point to you. There is power in united prayer. There is power when people are united. There is power when the church is praying church. Ano pinapanalangin niya? Lord, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Na meron nang nangyaring miracle. Narinig nila sa kwento ni Peter. Tama? Pero bakit sila nalalangin ng ganito? They, these people wanted God to multiply signs and wonders. Meron nang miracle na nangyari but they are praying, amen, that God would demonstrate more His greatness. Amen, that there would be a greater demonstration of the power of God. Sabi niya, by stretching forth thine hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child, Jesus. Nang ibig sabihin, this should be part of our prayer. Hallelujah! Because many demons are afflicting the people of God. Many demons are afflicting, amen, people, by sickness and diseases. Amen. Pero magkakaisa tayo as a church that God would stretch forth His hand to heal and to do signs and wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, look at this. And when they had prayed, the place was shaken. Oh my. Wag nating maliitin yung prayer meeting. 
Amen. Because when they had prayed, when they were having a prayer meeting, hallelujah, the place was shaken where they were assembled together and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they spake the word of God with boldness. Hallelujah! Habang sila nangyayangin, they are in one voice, they are in one accord, they are united together. Hallelujah! Amen! Pray for God for signs and wonders. Panginoon, narinig namin ang nangyari kay Peter at John. Amen! How that lame, amen, walk again. But Lord, hallelujah, I pray that you would multiply it here. It more, Lord, it stretch forth thine hands to heal. Do great signs and wonders in the name of Jesus that your name may be glorified. Amen. And because of that, Amen, nagalak ang Panginoon sa kanilang pananalangin. Hallelujah. Nagalak ang Panginoon sa kanilang pananalangin. Why? Because they want the manifestation of the Holy Ghost. Hindi lamang nila nililimit ang Panginoon sa pangangaral. No. They want all. Amen. But the manifestation and demonstration and power of the Holy Ghost, they want to see it. Even they want to see it in a multiplied form. At nagalak ang Panginoon. Hallelujah! Nagalak ang Panginoon. Siya ay bumaba and He shook the place. He shook the place. At sabi, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh my! Ang sabi ni Barbara Barnum, Acts 2, they were baptized with the Holy Ghost. Diba? Ano yung Acts 4? They were filled. Akala ko baptized siya. Sabi ng prophet, Acts 4 is the refilling of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Though they were baptized, they need a refilling. Hallelujah. Amen. Kapag nagkakaroon na tayo ng prayer meeting, Hallelujah. Mas lumalakas ang iglesia. Why? Because it becomes a spirit-filled church. Niririfill tayo ng Panginoon. Niririfill tayo ng Panginoon until we are full of God. Until our cup runs over. I don't just want even a little of it. I want my cup to run over. To run over with the anointing of God. Hallelujah. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost. That is what is lacking with the many churches today. They lack refilling of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because they despise, uh, they despise prayer meetings. Amen. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, don't despise it. Amen. Kung bisa nagtataka ka, bakit ganito parang mahirap? Pero if we will unite together, Amen. If we would meet the condition in the book of Acts, I believe that God will do the same thing. If we could just unite, if we could just unite, if you could just sacrifice your time to come to the prayer meeting, I believe that God can do more. Do you believe that? What anong sabi nito? And they speak the word of God with boldness. Look at that anointing came to them. Ito yung isa sa pinipray nila. Lord, behold the threatenings. Pero sabi nila, but grant unto thy servants. Sino yung servants? These are people that, that minister the word. Grant, the grant unto thy servants that with all boldness they may speak the word. At sabi dito mga kabatid, and they speak the word of God with boldness. Nawala ang takot sa kanila. Amen. Kaya anong pananakot sa kanila, it will never stop them to preach the gospel. It will never stop them to preach about the name of Jesus. It will never stop them to declare the power of God. At ano nangyari? Let's jump to verse 33. Or 32. And the multitude of them that believe were of one heart and of one soul. Showing us the unity. How they are in, your, in harmony. 
how they are united together. Verse 33. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. This is what they're praying. And great grace was upon them all. Ano yung great grace na yan? That's the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Because you minister according to the grace that God has given unto you. Amen. Nang ibig sabihin, a great outpouring of the gifts of the Holy, Holy Ghost. Amen. Were given to them. Hindi lang outpouring. Amen. But great grace. Great outpouring was upon them all. Now, we read the prayer. Would you like to see how the Lord answered the prayer? Amen. Let's see. Acts 4, we read the prayer. Then let's see. They were praying that God would stretch forth His hand to heal and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of the Holy Child Jesus. And in chapter 5, this is the answer to their prayers. Chapter 5, verse 12. And by the hands of the apostles, Ano sabi dyan? Were little. Is it little? Few? No. And by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all with one accord in Solomon's porch. Amen. They are all in one accord. What are they doing in the temple? They are praying. They are fellowshipping. Amen. Lord, stretch forth thy hands to heal. Do great signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. And now we are reading. God answered their prayer. Ang sabi dyan, by the hands of the apostles, not few, were many signs and wonders wrought among the people. And they were all in with one accord in Solomon's porch. Verse 15. I tell you, in so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets and laid them on beds and couches and at least the shadow of Peter passing by night overshadowed some of them. Now look at this. Great miracle signs and wonders. Bakit kayo ginawa? Because the people are praying for it. Kapatid, the people were so united. They were in one accord. They were praying for the supernatural acts of God. Amen. Kaya yung mga apostles, kapag nananalangin sila sa may sakit, they are just echoing the prayer of the people. Are you catching that? Amen. Kapag yung mga apostles nananalangin sila, ini-echo lang nila yung pinanalangin na. Amen. Ng body of believers. Amen. Bakit bago minultiply ng Panginoon yung miracles by the hands of the apostles, ayun na ang prayer ng congregation. Ayun na ang prayer ng, prayer ng church. So when they are praying for the people, amen, they are just echoing kung ano na ang pinapanalangin ng mga tao. And there is a power in united prayer. Amen. Dahil nagkakaisa sila na nananalangin, ang sabi sa Bible, maging yung anino lamang ni Pedro, gumagaling yung mga tao. Pagkat hindi lang si Pedro ang nananalangin, hindi lang yung ministro ang nananalangin, lahat ay nakikisa. Lahat ay may burden na manalangin sa mga bagay na ito. Hallelujah! Kaya kapag ang ministro ng pagnananalangin, Amen, it was just echoing yung matagal ng pinananalangin. Yung mga nasa puso ng mga tao, nakikita nila yung mga kapatid nila na mayroong karamdaman na hirapan sila. Lumulod sila sa makinaon. Pinapanalangin nila. Kaya kapag ang isang ministro ay nanalangin, Amen, the prayer is representing the prayer of the entire body of believers. Amen. And they were all with one accord. 
and Solomon's porch. Verse 15. In so much that they brought forth the sick into the streets. And laid them on beds and couches. That at the least the shadow of Peter passing by might overshadow some of them. At ano nangyari? They came also a multitude out of the cities round about Jerusalem. Yung mga cities around the Jerusalem, narinig lang nangyayari. Okay, round about Jerusalem. Anong ginawa nila? Bringing sick folks and them which were vexed with unclean spirit. At anong sabi sa Bible? And they were healed everyone. The power of a praying church. Amen! The power of a praying church. Amen. Yung mga may karamdaman na nilapit sa kanila. And they were healed, everyone. Mga kapatid, ito ang kapangyarihan ng pagkakaisa. Amen. Hindi lamang si pastor o mga dikon, mga elders sa church, kung lahat tayo magkakaisa, mga kapatid. If we would have one voice, I believe God will do greater. God will do greater. God will do greater. Kung dati isa-isa lang ang gumagaling mga kapatid, dalawa o tatlo, pwedeng bilangin ng daliri mga kapatid. Pero tingnan nyo pag lahat tayo magkakaisa. Amen. If we would just have one voice, sabi sa Bible, let us carry one another's burden. Amen. Habang nananalangin ka, wala kang sakit. Pero kapatid mo may karamdaman and you carry, amen, your brother's burden at tayo lahat nakakaisa mga kapatid. Walang pwedeng humadlang kan Cancer man yan, tumor man yan, malugbaba niya, karamdaman. Amen. Walang pwedeng makapagpigil because the church is united. The church is a praying church. Hallelujah! If you understand this, mga kapatid, ang prayer meeting will not be poorly attended. Hallelujah! Why? Because you see the power of unity. Amen! That we've got to carry one another's burden. If you want to see what the Holy Ghost can do now, look at what He has done in the beginning. If you could create the same condition, we would have the same results. Amen. Praise God. Sabi ko, hindi ako magtatagal. Ano mong oras na? I just took a... But let me just read now this, the quotes of the prophet. I'm going to open it. Let's read the first quote. Earnestly contending for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. Preached by Barbara in 1953. And sabi what you need is an old fashioned upper room with a prayer meeting. Where you pray down the power of God and the Holy Ghost begins to move. Ang kinakailangan natin is that old-fashioned upper room. Amen. Anong nandun sa upper room? They were all in one accord. Amen. With prayer and supplication. With a prayer meeting. 
when you pray down the power of God. Hallelujah. You want the power of God to come down. Mayroon kang gagawin, kapatid. Mayroon akong gagawin. Magkaisa tayo. Amen. Let's make the power of God to come down. And let the Holy Ghost begin to move. Where the power of God, where the prayer down the power of God and the Holy Ghost begins to move, that's what you need. Amen, Amen prophet. In the message, Everlasting Life and How to Receive It, 1954. Sabi niya, Now, but he stopped these apostles. Tinutukun niya yung ating text kanina. nila mga apostles to preach with all their threatenings. Pag-isaya, pwede mo bang pigilan yung mga apostles na ito? It's a question form. Now, but stop these apostles? Brother, they had been with Jesus. They didn't care what anybody said. They called them over there one time and told them the days of miracles was past. Wala na yung days of miracle. Namatay na yung founder nyo, yung miracle working. Man, namatay na. The days of miracles was past. They called them over there one time and told them the days of miracles was past and whipped them and put them in jail and kept them all night and next morning put them in judgment. And they come to find out they were ignorant and unlearned men. But they take notice to them that they had been with Jesus. Next. Being let go, they never went over and consulted, consulted the seminary anymore. Na sila'y pinawala, hindi sila pumunta sa mga seminary at nagkonsulta ko nung gagawin. They went to their own people. They went to their own people. And when they come together, explaining what the Lord had done, they gathered together and prayed this prayer. It was a united prayer. They gathered together and prayed this prayer. Lord, why did is fulfilled which was spoke by the prophet David? Of course, why did the heathens rage and people imagine a vain thing? Said, truly, prayer nila, give us power. By stretching forth thine hand, uh, by, by stretching forth the hand of the holy child Jesus to heal the sick. And signs and wonders might be did. And when that people prayed with one accord in that place, the building was shook where they were assembled together. As sabi na prophet, what we need tonight is a unitary prayer meeting. That is what we need in this church is a unitary prayer meeting. Hindi lang yung pare-parehas ang pumupunta sa prayer meeting. Lahat ay willing magsakripisyo. Kung mahal mo yung kapatid mo, magsasakripisyo ka because we have to carry each other's burden. This is what we need. Are you listening to me? This is what we need. Hallelujah. What books have been one of time? You must have time. Make time for God. Make time for your brothers and sisters. Are you a makisa? Ikaw a mahadla. Because God wants us to be united. Wag mo hadlaran. Because we want a greater manifestation of the power of God. Let us all unite and see what God will do. Kaya mo magsakripisyo sa mga walang kabuluhang bagay. Kaya mo magsakripisyo para manalangin. Meron kang sasakyan! Bakit hindi mo gamitin? Kung ano ang pinagpala sa'yo ng Panginoon, kung binigyan ka ng sasakyan, ginagamit mo para sa Kanya, mas lalo ka pagpapalain ng Panginoon! 
Hinahat lang ang mong pagpapala ng Diyos dahil yung binigay sa iyo ng Panginoon. Hindi mo magamit para sa Kanya. At hihingi ka na naman, mga kapatid, let us all unite and see the power of God demonstrated. Katapos yung sin mo si pastor o mga ibang elder, bakit nahihirapan? Mga kapatid, you have a part, I have a part, meron tayong bahagi lahat. Let us all unite. Amen! Can I have an amen to that? Unitary prayer meeting! Unitary prayer meeting! Kung tapos ay munawa ka sa kapatid mo, hindi ka lang makapagsakripisyo para pumunta sa gawain, para manalhagin para sa kanila. Don't just love in word, but in deed. Sabi niya, what we need tonight is a unitary prayer meeting when we bind ourselves together. Amen. With such one heart, one accord, and pray a prayer like that, then we'll have another shaking time. Hallelujah! If there's no shaking time right now, Lord, even God can do it again. If we could just have unitary prayer meeting and burn ourselves together with such one heart, even walang ko kontra, even one heart, one accord, and pray like that, then we'll have another shaking time. God will shake this place with His power. Oh my. In a message from the beginning, it wasn't so. Brother Branham here was quoting John 15. Sabi ni Christ, I am the vine, ye are the branches. So kung anong life na nandoon sa vine, ayun ang pumupunta sa branch. The same life. At sabi ni Brother Branham, the first branch sanggaling yung branch doon sa vine and Jesus said I am the vine the first branch that come forth was a Pentecostal branch ito ang binabasa natin book of Acts is the Pentecostal branch this is the first branch that came out from that vine the first branch that come forth was a Pentecostal branch filled with Pentecostal power. Amen. Filled with Pentecostal power. So impact by the Holy Spirit till they staggered under the impact of the power of God. Amen. They went forth and saw visions, performed miracles, opened the eyes of the blind, healed the sick. Joy was in the camp. That's the first branch. At Sabajan, they prayed in one accord. Even they were not divided. They have harmony. They have cooperation. They prayed in one accord. And all of them together. Until the building shook where they were assembled together. At sabi niya, show me a church doing that today. What a rebuke. Marami dito sa message, intellectual na lang. Quote ng quote dito, ang dami ng alam. But show me in this message, who is doing that? I don't say all. But many are not doing that. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Mga kapatid, ang mga isa sa mga service that is poorly attended today ay ang prayer meeting. They don't see the importance of it. Kaya sabi na pa, show me a church doing that today. Sabi niya, even the Pentecostals getting, getting so cold is getting dry. Is getting so dry. 
Why they have a little ceremonial prayer? Maging yung Pentecostal sa ancient part na Parbanam na nagkaroon ng revival pero nagiging dry na. Why? Pagkat wala na silang prayer meeting. Eh, may wala nang magsakripisyo. Sabi ng isa, busy ako. Ako din, Brad, busy ako. Eh, next time na lang, mga Brad. At yung next time, taon na umabot. Hindi na nakakadalo, mga kapal, ng prayer meeting. They, all, they can only sacrifice for Sunday. Mga kapatid, Sunday is not much a sacrifice. Halos lahat sa atin, walang trabaho sa saygo. Amen. Pero yung pagdalo sa midweek service, ayan ang sakripisyo. Galing ka pa sa trabaho mo. Galing ka pa sa eskwelahan. Pero nagsasakripisyo ka pagkat mahal mo ang gawain ng Panginoon. Mahal mo ang ministry. Show me a church that's doing that. Even the Pentecostal getting so dry. No wonder, mga kapatid, many people in this message so dry. Word only without a demonstration of the power of God. Amen. They would just have a ceremonial prayer in the church. Magpipray yung MC and so on. Eh, pati yung MC mga kapatid, dry. Amen. Hindi nagmumove yung Holy Spirit. Amen. Even the prayer is not inspired. Pero sinasabi ko sa inyo mga kapatid, if we will be a praying church, every part of this service is inspired by the Holy Ghost. Mula sa umpisa hanggang dulo. Why? Because every vessel na gagamitin ng Panginoon is filled with the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost! Show me a bunch. Show me a church doing that today. Even the Pentecostal so cold is getting so dry. Why? They have a little ceremonial prayer. Sabi niya, what we need is a prayer meeting. They'll shake the singles off the top of the house and bring back and bring God back into the church again. Ito ang kailangan natin mga kapatid. Amen. We see the power of God back to the church again. Pero Amen. Let's pray together. Amen. Let's sacrifice together in a prayer meeting. And let's bring back the power of God in the house of the Lord again. And sabi niya, it wasn't so from the beginning. Kung sabi mo, ganito lang talagang church dry. No, it wasn't so from the beginning. Get back to the book of Acts. That's the beginning. Hindi ganyan sa simula. All these creeds and called formal ritualistics and all these different things, it wasn't so from the beginning. Itong mga creeds na ito, itong mga called formal ritualistics, pupunta ka sa church, mga formal yung mga tao, and all different things, it wasn't so from the beginning. Ibig sabihin, di ba ba, hindi, yan, hindi ganyan sa simula. Hindi ganyan sa book of Acts. Jesus set up a church and said, The signs shall follow them that believe. That was the beginning. That was the beginning. What is the beginning? Signs and wonders are following them. That was the beginning. That's what happened in the beginning. If he was here on earth today, he would not endorse our creeds and our things that we're doing. He would say it wasn't so from the beginning. Kung titingnan ni Jesus Christ yung condition ng church ngayon, sabi niya, it wasn't so from the beginning. Hindi ganyan ang condition ng church. Ang church uh, sa beginning, hindi patahin na church. Amen. Sabi ni Baba nandito, Jesus said at the beginning, the works that I do, shall you do also. That's the way it was at the beginning. And what is this message for? To bring us back to the faith of our apostolic fathers. To bring us back to the beginning. Jesus said at the beginning, The works that I do, shall you do also. That's the way it was at the beginning. What kind of a works did he do at the beginning? The same work that he's doing now. Baribara was referring to his time. Okay. That, that kind of a church. Now, what kind of a church did he have at the beginning? 
Ano ba klaseng church meron ng Panginoon sa simula? A church that was filled with the Spirit. Because they had prayer meetings. They are receiving refilling of the Holy Spirit. What kind of church did he have at the beginning? A church that was filled with the Spirit. That healed the sick and prophesied and great signs and wonders. And it wasn't a shame of the religion. They shouted and danced under the Spirit like drunk men. They had cloven tongues like fire set upon them. Sabi ni Baba, ang kanda niyo beginning. Hindi sila nahihiya sa kanilang religion. They shouted and danced under the Spirit like drunk men. How many in the message churches to say today, you could see people shouting? Kunti na lang mga kabatid. Pero salamat dito, sumisigaw tayo. May kalayaan tayo. Because God hates a formal church. God doesn't like an starchy church. Anong sabi nito? Amen. It wasn't a shame of the religion. They shouted and danced under the spirit like drunk men. Hallelujah. They drunk. Amen. They were drunk and dancing the spirit. Parang isang lasing na tao. Amen. Mga kapatid, sinasabi ko. Amen. Sa mga dating lasinggero dito, kung ikaw ay tumagay lang ng maliit, mga kapatid, hindi ka malalasing. Do you see that? Yung isang baso lang na gato kaliit, yung pinaglalagyan ng ano, nagbebenta ng mga mani. Hindi kang malalasing diyan. Hindi kang malalasing, walang tama 'yon, kunti lang. Ito drunk. Yung drunk, laging nalalagyan. Kasi prayer meeting after prayer meeting nandoon. Hey man, drunk. Drunk. Addict sa Holy Ghost. Ayaw mag-absent. Adik sa Holy Ghost. Blood, uminom ako last Sunday. Pero kinakailangan ko mati ng Tuesday. Gusto ko uli uminom. Sa Friday, iinom uli ako. Amen. Tingnan natin mga kapatid. Tingnan niyo pagdating natin ng linggo. Baka lasing na tayo lahat. Hallelujah! Amen! Why? Amen! Sabi ng prophet, kung anong ginagawa ng natural wine, ganun din naman similar ang ginagawa ng spiritual wine. Kapag mga kapatid, nalasing ang isang tao ng natural wine, sabi ng brother Barnabas, he behave unnaturally. Hallelujah! Amen! Yung isang tao na dating tahimik, pero mga kapatid, nang nalasing dumaldal, sabi niya, oh pare, bakit mo kinikwento yung asawa ko kaya sa kapitbahay natin, ha? tahimik na tao dumaldal hallelujah why below because it will make you behave unusual hallelujah at ganyan ang lasing sa Espiritu Santo ng Panginoon kahit sa pagpupuri wala kang pakialam sa katabi mo kung ayaw niya uminom manigas siya dyan pero ako iinom pa ako Inom pa ako until I get drunk in the spirit of God. I will shout. I will jump. I will jump in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Why, my abadid, you behave unnaturally. Sabi na mga, sabi na mga puti. Pasensya na kayo kasi mga reserve na mga tao kami mga puti. Ganito lang talaga kami magpuri. Kayo mga Afrikana, masyado kayong expressive. Kaya ganyan ang pagpupuri nyo. Kaya kami, simple lang. Kung minsan, pupuri ng yung, yung kamay nandun sa bulsa. At tapos tinitingnan yung katabi. Ano nangyari doon? Relax lang. Ganyan kasi kami mga puti. Mga kabatid, kung sinasabi mga puti, mga puti, ganyan kayo, sinungaling kayo! Na, nakakita na ba kayo mga kapatid ng football match nandoon yung mga puti? Mga kapatid, ano mang kulay puti, black brown, nababaliw, sumisigaw. Ah! Pero pagdating sa simbahan, tahimik. Eh, mga kapatid, kung sa bola lamang nagre-rejoice, how much more sa presensya ng Panginoon? Walang formality dito. Kung sabihin mo, 
formal kayo mga puti kayo, sinungaling kayo, manood ka ng football match, mas dan mo mga puti. Amen. Nice ng Panginoon, meron tayong kalayaan. Huwag tayong may hiya. If you will feel like praising the Lord, you praise God. This is not a former church. This is not a statue church. Let thy spirit have freedom in this church. Sa isang bola na nagre-rejoice sila, mga kapatid, higit sa bola. Ang ka, kaya tayo masaya higit sa bola. Ginaganyan nila ang kanya lang ka, ang kanila ka, ang kanila kamay dahil yung yung idol nila sinisipa yung bola. Mga kapatid, yung great king of kings nandito. Sinisigawa nila tao, sinisigawa nila bola. Chinichin nila, how much more ang salita ng Panginoon? How much more ang presensya ng Panginoon? He's the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Nang maigaw yung mga tao, sabi ng mga tao, yung mga religious leaders, Panginoon, bawalan mo sila. Ang ingay nila, sabi niya, if I will hold their peace, Amen, the rocks will cry out instead. Kung pipigilan ko yung mga tao na yan, the rocks will cry instead. Panginoon, I will not let the rock cry instead. I will shout. I will praise you. I will worship you. I will not let the rock worship you. I am a son of God created to worship you. Hallelujah. And it wasn't a shame of their religion. They shouted and danced under the spirit like drunk men. And had cloven tongues like fire set upon them. And they done signs and wonders. This is at the beginning. They done signs and wonders. And exploits followed them. Sabi ni Barbara, that's the kind it was at the beginning. That's the kind it'll have in the middle. And that's the kind it'll have at the last. Kaya sa last, walang formal church. Sa last, meron silang signs and wonders. Kasi kung ano yung last, pabalik sa beginning. Amen. Kung anong nandun, ganun din na mga kabatid. Ano lang gagawin natin? Let's create the atmosphere for the Spirit of God to have its freedom. Sabi ni Barbara, you say, my church don't teach that. Hindi naman tuturo sa church yan. Ang turo nga sa church namin, dapat tahimik eh. Meron ako na nakinig na, na, na rin na video clip doon sa sa Facebook, sabi ng pare, sabi niya, kung merong uh, nagsasalit tayong pare, huwag kayong pagpapalakpak. Kung ginagawa niyo sa iba, huwag dito sa simbahan, sabi niya. Di ba, nakikita niyo yung Pope natin pag nandun sa Rome, nagsasalit tayo siya, hindi naman may pumapalakpak ng response yung mga tao. Kaya kung may sinabi, kahit nagusta niyo, huwag kayong papalakpak. Mga kapatid, isa lang ang lugar na alam ko na kapag nagsalita ka, walang magre-respond. Simenteryo. Kahit subigaw ka sa simenteryo, sigawan mo sila, wala silang respond kasi mga patay sila. Mga patay sila! But God is not the God of the dead. He is the God of the living. Hallelujah! Let every breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amen! Amen! Hallelujah! Tignan nyo yung tabi nyo, kung may punto dyan. Wala bang punto dito? Ilalabas natin. Kasi ito, hindi simbahan ito lang. Hindi ito simenteryo. Hallelujah! Kinakailangan lahat dito marumag puri sa Panginoon. Hallelujah! Kapag ikaw nag-i-amen sa talabay, so be it, Lord! So be it, Lord! 
be it unto me according to thy word. Kung nagsalita yung presidente, pinapalakpakan kahit nang bubola lang. Mga kapatid, ang Diyos hindi nang bubola dito. Lahat ng sinasabi niya totoo. Kaya maglalak ka lang, bumalakpak ka lang, pagkat buhay ang Diyos. He is faithful. One thing that God cannot do, He cannot lie because He is faithful. Walang nang bubola sa inyo dito. Kaya huwag kayo magdalawang isip na pumalakpak. Ang Diyos hindi marunong mambola. You say my church don't teach that? Eh, sabi kasi ng church, ganito lang dapat eh. Well, it wasn't so from the beginning. You say I'm a Methodist. Ganito lang kami na mag-worship ng mga Methodist. It wasn't so from the beginning. Ang pattern yung Book of Acts. I'm a Baptist. Kung malakas ka mag-amen, lalapitan ka, palalabasin ka. Kasi Baptist kami. It wasn't so from the beginning. I'm a Lutheran. Ganito lang talaga kami, medyo formal. It wasn't so from the beginning. Ano sila? They were baptized saints of God with the Holy Ghost. That was, that beginning was signs and wonders. Anong nasa pasimula? Sila'y puspos ng banal na Espiritu Santo and signs and wonders are following. We are not going back to Catholic, Baptist, Methodist. We are going back to the beginning. That is where we are going back. God sent Elijah the prophet to turn us back to apostolic brothers. Elijah was not sent to bring you back to Catholic, Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal to bring you to the book of Acts. That's the purpose to bring you back to the book of Acts. They say they don't. My church don't believe it. Hindi kasi naniniwala yung church namin dyan. Sabi ng part, it wasn't so from the beginning. Hindi ganyan sa simula. My church don't believe in seeing visions. It wasn't so from the beginning. Why? Because in the beginning they have visions. My church says days of miracles is past. Wala nang miracle ngayon. Sabi ng prophet, it wasn't so from the beginning. My God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Sabi nila na days of miracles is past. Oh, sa future lang yan. Pagdating na nag-squeeze, saka mangyari miracle. No! Jesus is not just the same yesterday and tomorrow. Today then! Yesterday, today, and forever. My church says the days of miracle is past. It wasn't so from the beginning. My church don't believe in the baptism of the Holy Ghost. It wasn't so from the beginning. At sabi ni Barbara, I tell you, God wants a people that's consecrated by the power of God that will surrender their intellectuals. Sabi ng intellect mo, mahirap ka nang gumaling, inayawan ka na ng doktor. Amen. But you could surrender your reasoning. You could surrender your intellectuals. And let God come in and take over and give a new birth. Saan tayo mabalik? Sabi ng Barbara, let's go back to the beginning. Anong binabasa ko sa inyo mga kapalit? Beginning! Because let's go back to the beginning. If we want to see the sick healed, we want to see signs and wonders of the living Christ, go back to the beginning where we left Him. Kung gusto nyo uh, ang may sakit, uh, gagaling, uh, gusto nyo makita ng mga miracles, mga kapatid, bumalik kayo sa beginning. Uh, at binabasa ko sa inyo sa beginning, meron silang pagkakaisa. They are united. They are praying church. At sabi niya dito, We left him at the Pentecostal feast. 300 years after that come the Catholic Church. 
after the Catholic Church come, after 1,500 years of dark ages, come the Luther Reformation. Out of there come the Anglican and so forth, on down, and each one forming creeds and creeds and creeds and so forth. And now the world says, where is that God that walked and healed? Ano ang nangyari sa mga churches ngayon? Puro creeds program. Program has replaced the spontaneous move of the Holy Spirit. Programa ng tao, pamamaraan ng tao. At nakita ng tao, ng mundo wala na. Patay na. Sabi niya, where is that God that walk and healed? Nasaan na yung Diyos na nababasa namin sa Biblia? Amen. Where is that God? Where is He at? What happened to Him? Anong nangyari sa Diyos ng Biblia? Bakit yung ginagawa niya noon? Parang hindi ko na nakikita yun. Let me call you Catholic, Protestants, Methodist, Baptist, Presbyterians. Go back to where you left Him at. Balikan niyo siya kung saan niyo siya iniwan. Go back to Pentecost again. Go back to Pentecost again. Hurry back real quick and find him there. Mandulag siya. That's what the church needs tonight, friend. Back to a living faith in a living God with his living presence ever with us to the end of the world. Do you believe that? I believe it, Father Branham. We are going back to the beginning. Are you willing to go back? I am showing you what they did in the beginning. Now let me end. Let me just read here in Acts 1. Para makita natin ang condition sa beginning. Acts 1 verse 14. Anong sabi dyan? Look at the beginning. These all continued with one accord. They were united. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. Pagdating sa prayer supplication, may pagkakaisa sila. They were in one accord. They prayed together. There's unity. Acts 2 verse 46. And they, continuing daily with one accord in the temple. With one accord in the temple. Ano ginagawa nila sa temple? Sabi niya, they continue. Aba, araw-araw pa. Malupit ito ah. Okay. Continuing daily with one accord in the temple. Ano ginagawa nila sa temple? Sa next chapter, sabi doon, si Peter at si John papunta sa temple to pray. Because it They love praying. Okay? And they were in one accord. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple. And breaking bread from house to house. Bukod dun sa temple, they break bread from house to house. Did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Look at the joy they have. Praising God. And having favor with all people. And the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Mga kapatid, we are going back to the beginning. Would you like to come with me? We are going back to the beginning. Would you like to come? Punta kayo sa Martes. Magtuturo ako. Amen! We will get back to the beginning. Let's just follow this, mga kapatid. Then sabi ko sa inyo, let's keep this. Let's make it constant. And every three months, we will have a healing service. And we will see the power of God in demonstration. Why? Mga kapatid, we just need to create the condition. We just need to create the atmosphere. Could you imagine? Kung lahat sa atin dito ay puno ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Punong-puno ng Diyos. 
What do you expect? What kind of gathering we would have? Mga kapatid, the condition of the church na nakikita nyo ngayon, it wasn't so from the beginning. Amen. Because the church in the beginning is full of power. It's full with joy. It's full with gladness. Amen. The church in the beginning, they love to praise God. They love to worship God. They love prayer meetings. Amen. That's the church at the beginning. Mga kapatid, as a body of Christ, or as a local assembly, we'll go back in that kind of condition. And I tell you, watch what God will do. Amen. Amen. Are you expecting that? Yes. Do you believe that God's word cannot fail? Yes. Alam nyo kami mga pastor, we are spiritual scientists. Kung mga natural scientists, they take chemicals from the earth to make something. We take chem we as yes, spiritual son, we take chemicals from the word to bring forth something because everything is in the word. I didn't I didn't know na I will preach this long. Oh my goodness. Alam nyo, mga kapas, lang, I did I did not prepare much, but the Holy Ghost was here. Sobrang init, tanghali kahapon, umatin ako ng uh, uh, binyag. Then, uh, pagdating sa bahay, ang init sa labas, tatulog ako. Tapos nagbasa lang ako ng konti ng Bible, sabi, ang dinarap ng Panginoon, Oxford, binasa ko lang yung, yung kwento. Katapos, bahala ng Panginoon kasi may klilang naman sa chef ko bukas, sabi ko sa sarili ko. Di tinulog ko na. E pagising ko, nagbasa ko ng quotes. Aba, maganda itong quotes na ito ah. Sinama ko. Hindi ko alam na ganito kahaba. Because I did not prepare much. Pero mga kapatid, one thing I am sure, the Holy Ghost is here. And He's the shepherd of the flock. Purihin ng Panginoon. Siguro ma, pwede tayo magkaroon ng 30 minutes testimony. If we could not have, uh, have uh, many to testify, we could have it on Sunday, uh, the next Sunday. Uh, could we have? Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise.